Hello and welcome to today's uh, session. Today we are looking at the difference between delirium and dementia. Okay? All of them are um, neurological disorders. Okay? And dementia and delirium are two distinct medical conditions that affect cognition and mental functioning. While they share um, some similarities in terms of cognitive impairment, they have different causes, presentation, and uh, the, the due cause, okay? So, like if you look at uh, dementia, dementia is, this is a chronic progressive neurological disorder characterized by decline in cognitive abilities, including memory, thinking, reasoning, language, and problem solving. Alzheimer's disease is the most common cause of dementia, but there are other types such as vas uh, vascular dementia, leery body dementia, and frontotemporal dementia. When you look at delirium, on the other hand, it's an acute and reversible condition characterized by sudden onset of confusion and changes in mental status. Okay, It's caused by underlying medical conditions, medical side effects, infection or drug or even alcohol withdrawal okay so delirium is often considered a medical emergency and requires prompt evaluation and treatment okay so those are some of the uh, some of the differences between the two conditions if and we have tried to list them and separate them in terms of um, the, the characteristics or the feature, and, and then we have the, the first column is representing delirium, and the second one is dementia. The reason why I've chosen to start with delirium and not dementia is because uh, delirium is acute, okay? So we start with acute followed by, followed by the, 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 the chronic, okay? So in terms of the first one, in terms of onset, find that delirium is acute or persistent, whereas dementia is gradual and insidious. In terms of duration, you find that delirium is normally brief, depending on the cause or the persistent lasting weeks or months, whereas dementia is long with progressive deterioration. Okay. In terms of the cause, you find that uh, we have daytime alterations with more exacerbations at night. Uh, for dementia, we have stable progression of symptoms with increased confusion in the evenings. We normally call it the sound down effect. Okay. Here we also have disorganized and impaired short-term memory. Whereas in dementia, Short-term and long-term memory impairments uh, that progresses to complete loss. Okay? It's disorganized. Here, it keeps on deteriorating and up to the uh, point where someone has complete loss. In terms of orientation, we're saying we have marked decreased, especially to environmental clues in terms of orientation. But here, we have progressively decreasing. Okay, it's progressively decreasing in that case, in that manner. In terms of um, language, yeah, in terms of language, you find that in delirium, it's rambling, pressured, sometimes irrelevant. Whereas in the dementia, okay, in dementia, we have uh, difficulty recalling correct words, okay, loss of language in later later stages when you look at perceptual disturbance yeah the environment is unclear progressing to illusions hallucinations and sometimes having deletion okay sometimes somebody may be diagnosed as having um, positive symptoms of schizophrenia yeah but you find in dementia they're commonly absent but can progress to paranoia Delusion, hallucination, and illusions. In terms of level of consciousness, here we have fluctuating cloudiness, inattentive to hyper alert with distractibility. Here, 
the level of consciousness is not affected in dementia. In terms of sleep, you're saying that here we have day-night reversal, okay? Day-night reversal. Somebody is sleeping during the day, very active at night, okay? Somebody may have insomnia, vivid dreams, and nightmares. Here we have possible day and night reversal in later stages, okay? Not in early stages. Psychomotor action, they are sluggish to hyperactive. Uh, changes are very unpredictable as compared to dementia where the psychomotor actions are not affected initially. So it, they're normally restless with pacing in late stages. In terms of emotional, emotional status, we have uh, the, the, the patients in um, the patient for the patient for for delirium. Patients are anxious with changes in sleep, fearful if experiencing hallucinations, weeping or yelling. But in dementia, patients have uh, have depression or anxiety. So when the patient uh, has the insight into the condition, some of them have anger with outbursts in the later stages. So guys, these are some of the 11 differences between delirium and dementia. Delirium and dementia. So uh, most of the time, guys uh, attribute uh, dementia to old people, okay? But in summary, we can say that dementia and delirium are, are distinct conditions affecting cognition and me me mental functioning. Dementia is a chronic and progressive neurological disorder with a slow onset, while delirium is an acute and reversible condition with sudden onset. So prompt recognition and appropriate management are crucial for both conditions to ensure the best possible outcomes for the affected people. Okay, so those are the differences between dementia and delirium. Thank you so much, guys, as you enjoy the two, uh, the two common conditions.